system, this is a place of healing and transformation. In today's guided meditation, we're going to learn and focus on Lesson 22 of Epictetus. Epictetus says that it's important to live your life according to your values. No matter what other people say, even if some people make fun of you that you love philosophy, he says to stick by your values, stick by your beliefs. And if you do so in the long term, people may also end up admiring you. Whereas if you abandon your beliefs, then you may become the laughing stock. When you wake up from this meditation, you will be functioning from a place of certainty and confidence. You will be committed to your beliefs more than ever before. Please prepare for your deep relaxation. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. Lay on a bed, a carpet, or a reclining chair, or simply relax into your seat in the train. Lay back in a comfortable position with your legs slightly apart and the palms of your hands facing upwards. You are going to practice deep relaxation for about half an hour and then when I prompt you, you will awaken feeling renewed, empowered and confident. Now let's begin taking three deep breaths in order to begin the relaxation process. Inhale deeply, deeply, filling your whole body with a sense of warmth and relaxation. Exhale as you release any tension on your face, your shoulders, and your whole physical body. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, filling your whole body with a sense of warmth and relaxation. Exhale as you release any tension on your face, your shoulders, and your whole physical body. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, filling your whole body with a sense of warmth and relaxation. Exhale as you release any tension on your face, your shoulders, your whole physical body. Notice how relaxed you're feeling now, and as you are relaxing, even deeper, you will begin to notice your body feeling that it is sinking heavily into the mattress or chair. And now we'll do a short rotation of awareness throughout your whole physical body. I will mention a few parts of your body and you will move your attention there imagining a warm golden light in that area. We begin with your head. Imagine a golden light all around your head like a halo. Now move this golden light to your forehead, your right eye, your left eye, your right cheek, your left cheek, your lips. Now relax your jaw muscles. Relax your right shoulder. Relax your left shoulder. Bring the golden light into your abdomen area. The whole right leg. The whole left leg. And now bring your attention to your breathing. As you inhale, your abdomen rises. It inflates like a balloon. 
and as you exhale, your abdomen falls. Notice this rising and falling. Your breaths are like the waves that are reaching the shore. As you inhale, the waves pull back from the white sandy beach. As you exhale, the waves spread out, leaving a frothy foam. And as you visualize these waves and the white sandy beach, I want you to begin counting your breaths backwards from 12 to zero as follows. I am inhaling 12. I am exhaling 12. I am inhaling 11. I am exhaling 11. Continue to count your breaths until zero. That's right, keep focusing on your breaths. Visualize those waves rising and falling on the shore. Now focus your attention on the area in front of your closed eyes. In this area, imagine there is a dark, translucent movie screen. I will now mention some things that will appear on that screen. And I want you to do your best to see things as clearly as possible. On the screen, now visualize a huge golden gate that is closed. You are standing in front of this closed golden gate and in order to open it, you must bring to mind your deep affirmation, your personal mission statement. No matter what may happen in your life, you will experience what your deep personal mission statement declares. Now imagine that you are standing in front of this golden gate and in order to open this golden gate, you will repeat your deep mission statement three times mentally. Notice that the door is opening now and you can step through. Now look down towards your feet. You are walking along a path. There is a summer breeze that brings the smell of jasmine from a nearby garden. There are beds of roses throughout the garden, soft pink roses and deep velvety red roses. You reach over to smell the rich intoxicating aroma. The path leads you to a temple with the Grecian columns. As you approach the regal staircase, there is a woman who greets you and tells you to relax, that you have come to the right place and that you are to follow her. 
Finally, you reach the door of the temple. She tells you that you are free to enter. Inside, you notice that it is dark yet welcoming. There is the smell of aromatic candles. This atmosphere relaxes you deeply, yet you are also expecting to meet someone very special. Now it is the moment you have been waiting for, for so long. It is the time to encounter your authentic self, the wise being that dwells within you. This face becomes illuminated and your eyes meet with each other and you feel a warm loving embrace like a long lost friend. You feel recharged and rejuvenated in every cell of your body through this embrace. And now this radiant being is taking you to a secret chamber in the temple. It is the chamber of inner freedom. It is a magnificent place where you notice that you are feeling deeply relaxed and comfortable. This is a place for you to reflect on the topic of today's philosophy lesson. This lesson was mentioned at the beginning of today's session. Even if you are not able to recall the exact words and meaning with your conscious mind, be sure that your unconscious mind is assimilating today's lesson. So simply allow yourself a few moments of peace for this process to be completed. Over the next few days, you will notice a transformation in the way that you think, feel and act according to the wisdom of this great philosophy lesson. you will notice that you will be feeling more free on the inside, no matter what is happening on the outside. Your whole perspective of life is shifting into one that empowers you. Now I want you to bring to mind the word gratitude. Simply bring to mind that word and say to yourself, I am deeply grateful for, and begin to bring to mind people, events, and things that made you grateful within the last 24 hours. If you can't think of enough incidents in the last 24 hours, Expend to the last three days, or the last week, or month. Think about these things that happened to you at work, things that happened while you were traveling, or in your free time. Positive things. Things you are grateful for. Things that have happened with your family, your loved ones. It could be something big, or it might be something small, like you are grateful that you have a roof over your head and food on the table. Feel a warmth in your heart as it overflows with gratitude. And as you do this, keep bringing back to mind the phrase, I am grateful for this opportunity of being alive, to experience life on earth. How lucky I am, how grateful I am just to be alive. You are feeling gratitude from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. It is a warm, tingling sensation. 
and know that when you express gratitude for beautiful moments in your life, you open the way for the moments like these to repeat themselves and grow in terms of their magnitude. Now we move to forgiveness. Recall to mind a negative feeling you might have towards a person or an incident. Bring to mind someone towards whom you might be harboring anger, resentment, envy, or any other toxically charged emotions. It could be a person who didn't treat you with respect, a colleague or a stakeholder in your business, or perhaps it was a family member. You may even think of a politician or a situation who causes you stress and anxiety. Imagine now that you are floating above that person or stressful situation. You are floating above at the altitude of a bird. And as you hover above, you begin to see the bigger picture of what is really happening how it's like a scene in a play. There are characters on the stage playing out their roles. Now pull away even higher from the perspective of the clouds and you are looking down towards that person or situation and you begin to realize what the philosopher Plato taught that the problem doesn't seem so dramatic from this higher perspective. You begin to see that we are all humans on this little blue planet, all members of one big human family. We are all connected in some way and any negative charge towards another is actually a charge against yourself. And now you are about to take the decision to forgive that person or even to forgive yourself. Bring to mind the words of the ancient Stoic philosophers. This thought is just an illusion. Nothing can harm me in my core and essence. I can see the bigger picture of my life. I am free. I am free. Now feel your heart swelling with a wave of freedom as you decide that this person or thing will no longer frustrate you as much as before. You are also forgiving yourself for any things that you may have felt or said or done wrong. Notice you are feeling your chest widen with every breath and your heart is overflowing with a feeling of freedom. You are feeling released from all toxic emotions and drama of the past. Imagine a ray of golden light shining forth from your heart towards that person or situation. And as that light shines from your heart, all the shadows disappear. Everything is bathed in light and you are finally free of all toxicity. This golden light reminds you of something that you experienced many years ago. At a time where you are immersed in love, you begin to remember yourself as a very small baby in your mother's womb. Bathed in love and light, this puts a smile on your face. Now move your focus to when you were around three years old and you realize now that you are actually born with a phenomenal amount of confidence, a sparkle in your eyes. You begin to remember how at a very young age you had a high self-esteem 
with a great amount of confidence are waiting to be applied. And as you go deeper, you are becoming fully aware of the fact that you have endless amounts of courage and confidence. Excellent. You are doing very well. Now let's move to visualizing your future. Over the next several minutes, I'm going to ask you to visualize different aspects of your life as you would like them to unfold three years into the future. So travel with your mind three years into the future if everything were to go according to your plan, if everything were to go according to your ideal scenario. See yourself three years from now experiencing moments of happiness, of achievement, of love and beauty. See yourself enjoying your accomplishments, people appreciating you for the difference you have made in their life. Let this be a free-flowing imagination exercise. Don't hold yourself back and remember to incorporate all five senses. What would you do with your health and body? How will they look three years from now if you keep working out, exercising and eating healthy? What does your family life look like three years from now? Who are your friendships with and how do you spend your time? What new skills are you learning and absorbing? What acts of service are you contributing to your community or to the world at large? Visualize the career or the occupation that you will have. How do you occupy most of your creative time? And how do your finances look if everything was to go the way you are planning for? Imagine a specific number, your yearly income. And more importantly, Visualize how have you improved your character. As you begin to live with more ethos, truth and integrity. And how has this improved the quality of your life? Take time to contemplate, to visualize as clearly as possible your bright future. Now mentally tell yourself, I am worthy of this unfolding in my life. Let this or something of a similar experience happen. I am open and prepared to receive this if it is the will of the universe. Yes, there will be some obstacles along the way but these obstacles will simply make you stronger and more determined than ever. Say to yourself, the obstacle is the way. The obstacle feeds the fire that is burning within me. The obstacle is the opportunity. I can face anything with courage and tenacity. My thoughts and actions are within my control. Now let's move on to visualizing your day to day over the next 24 hours. Over the next 24 hours, many activities and events will transpire. Some of these things are within your control and others are not. 
and you are wise enough to know the difference. Like the weather, can you control the weather? Of course not. But you can take precautions to protect yourself against those things. You have the serenity and wisdom to know which things are within your control and which are not. Soon this guided meditation will end and after you wake up, you will begin to like and understand people more and in turn, they will begin to like you more simply because you are you expressing yourself clearly, affirmatively, naturally, and with ease. You are a leader in your own unique way. You take charge of yourself and every situation. You will begin to have a heightened sense of self-worth and value, and others will love and respect you for that, even if they may not show it all the time. You have their respect. Each day now you are feeling more confident. Your self-image and self-esteem are higher than ever before. You are discovering all kinds of talents and abilities that are now emerging from your subconscious. Your subconscious is locked into every instruction and image you have made during this guided meditation. And it is now positively programmed on creating these results. No matter what may occur in your life, the experience in your personal mission statement will definitely become a reality. And as you play these guided meditation sessions on a regular basis, you continuously reinforce your mind, replacing old limiting feelings with new constructive ones. Each day, you're becoming more and more fully aware of your potential and exercising more of your calm, confident power. Now shortly, I'm going to bring you back to full awareness. We have come to the closing of this guided meditation. Now keeping your eyes closed, begin to move your toes, begin to move your fingers. Now take a deep, deep breath now and lift your arms over your head to stretch like you do early in the morning. Stretch your whole body and feel your spinal column awakening. Now bring your hands and arms down to your sides again. On the count of three, I will snap my fingers and you will open your eyes. One, two, three. Open your eyes. The process of deep relaxation is now complete. You can open your eyes or continue relaxing. I look forward to seeing you again on the next guided meditation. If you like these guided meditations, make sure you support this work through patreon.com.